Hey everybody, this is Lainey. Welcome back to History Highlights with Lainey. Thanks to those that have donated to my channel and also thanks to those that will donate to my channel. In this video, we will highlight Josiah Henson. Josiah Henson, born June 15, 1789, was an American laborer and clergyman who escaped slavery in 1830 and found refuge in Canada where he became the driving force behind the Dawn Settlement, a model community for former slaves. He was also involved in the Underground Railroad and he served as a model for the title character in Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Henson was born on a plantation in Maryland. From an early age, he witnessed the brutality of slavery, notably when his father tried to defend Josiah's mother from an overseer. As punishment, his father endured 100 lashes, had an ear cut off, and was sold to another slave owner farther south. Henson never saw or heard of his father again. Henson passed through several owners before being bought by Isaac Riley of Montgomery County, Maryland. He subsequently became a trusted overseer, and in 1825, Henson was tasked with transporting slaves to the Kentucky plantation of Riley's brother. Although there were various opportunities to escape, Henson and the slaves arrived in Kentucky later that year. In about 1829, Isaac Riley agreed to grant Henson's freedom in exchange for $450. Henson had already raised most of the money by preaching, but Riley later dramatically increased the fee. Soon after, Henson learned of plans to sell him, separating him from his wife and children. In 1830, the Henson family fled to Canada, receiving shelter and support at safe houses along the Underground Railroad. Once established in Canada, Henson occasionally returned to the United States, where he led other runaway slaves to the long, perilous trek to freedom along the Underground Railroad it was reported that he helped some 200 slaves. In Canada, Henson became a leader among the growing number of fugitive slaves. He was the driving force behind the establishment of the Dawn Settlement in Dresden, Ontario. Its goal was to employ and educate former slaves, and a focal point of the settlement was the British American Institute, an industrial school. To secure financial backing for the community, Henson made a number of trips to the United States and Great Britain. In 1851, he was granted a personal audience with Queen Victoria. Henson's autobiography, The Life of Josiah Henson, was published in 1849. It was subsequently reprinted under a variety of titles. Stowe cited the work among her sources for Uncle Tom's Cabin. In 1983, Henson became the first black person to be featured on a Canadian postage stamp. So, there you have it. A little bit of history on Josiah Henson. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Always remember, you are enough, and you are love. Word of the year, love. Love, love, love y'all fam. See you soon.